Floating panel head units are extremely popular right now. Being able to install a larger screen in your dash to give it a more modern look is very appealing. And these large screens can come with large prices too. But Boss Audio's Elite line offers a wide range of floating panel monitor receivers at very affordable prices. So let's take a look at what they have to offer. Hey, it's Josh from Breaker Stereo and Performance. And since the introduction of this head unit category, it seems that every brand has their own version. And price can range from as low as $300 all the way up to almost $2,000, depending on the brand and the features that the radio offers. But if you're looking for something at a reasonable price from a US-based company, then look no further. Boss has a good selection of these radios that come with the backup cameras included. Now, first off, I have to admit, before we move forward, pre-pandemic, we didn't even carry this brand. But because of the microchip shortage and supply chain issues, there are a limited supply of name brand radios on the market. So we had to look at alternative companies to keep up with the man. And it wasn't just our store. Many car audio stores around the country that didn't normally carry Boss Audio started to bring these radios in. And guess what? They're actually pretty good, especially for the price. Now, the issues we had in the past had to do with failure rate and overall quality, but Boss has stepped up to the plate, and although they're not claiming to be on the same level as Pioneer or Alpine, Kenwood, JVC, or Sony, it's a great value for the money, and many of your reputable 12 volt retailers, like your local car stereo shop, have brought in Boss because, well, it's what we were able to get our hands on but they have features that customers are looking for and they perform very well. Not to mention the Boss Elite line comes with a three year warranty, where most stereos only come with a one year warranty. So without further ado, let's check out what Boss has to offer. So they have two main sizes, which are the 10 and the nine inch, and they're just about to release the eight and the seven inch, which is pretty unique to the market. Here are the model numbers for those following radios. Now all these have the same features except the screen size of course, so let's go over those features now. Wired Apple CarPlay and Wired Android Auto. And these radios are a single DIN chassis. Bluetooth for hands-free calling and streaming audio, AM FM receiver, and these are capacitive touchscreens, 1024 by 600. Multicolor illumination, steering wheel control input, now the interface is not included. There's a 10 band adjustable graphic equalizer, subwoofer level controls with crossovers, and 20 watts times four RMS. High resolution playback, FLAC, Wave, MP3, and WMA. Two rear USB inputs, one for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and the second one is for media, so you can plug in a thumb drive and play music off of that. This does have an AV input and four volt front, rear, and sub pre-outs. Rear camera input, but they also give you a front camera input as well. Now, if you purchase the units that have the C at the end, those models come with backup cameras included. Now, the backup camera comes with a license plate mount and are fully weatherproof, high resolution, and wide angle viewing. And the model number on the camera is ELPC40B. Okay, so since all these radios come with the same contents, we're just gonna unbox one. All right, so you have a back strap and the keys to take it out of the cage, main wire harness, separate Bluetooth mic, Okay, and then we have some hardware and also some mounting brackets. And then this is the camera. All right, we'll take a look at that in a minute. Owner's manual. All right, so this is the screen. You have the knob here, and then you also have your buttons on the bottom as well. All right, this is the body. And it is a single DIN chassis. And then we have here audio and video input. And here we have our front and rear camera inputs along with the microphone input here. And then the AM FM antenna input. Okay, let's attach the screen to the body. So basically you just clip this in like this and you're good to go. Now there are some adjustments here so you can actually tilt to the side. So that's pretty unique here. And then you could also move this up and down. All right, so that's how that looks. So it's got this unique ball joint that gives you the ability to move this thing around like that. All right, so you can also move forward or tilt forward and also tilt back. So pretty wide range of motion there. Once you have it set, it's pretty stiff. So it's not gonna move around on you as you're going down the road. Uh, one thing on this though, this does protrude out a little further uh, than some of the other brands out there, mainly your name brands, okay? So here, let's take a look here. 
Okay, so it does come out right about three and a half inches, which is typical for some of your lesser brands like Jensen and Dual. So your high iron brands like Alpine and Pioneer don't stick out quite as much as some of the lower brands, but just make note of that. Okay, so this is a camera that comes with it. So it's a license plate camera and it goes behind your license plate. And then you're able to adjust the angle uh, of the camera. And then once you have that set, just go ahead and tighten the screws on each side. And it comes with the cables that you need to run it from the back to the front. All right, let's take a look at the seven. I have one of the sevens here. That's what that looks like. That is pretty unique, okay? Because most of these panels are gonna be larger and they came out with a seven. There is an eight that is coming as well. So if you've got, let's say a vehicle and you don't have the room to put one of the larger screens because your, your vents are in the way or your AC controls are in the way, but you do like this style radio, they do make a seven inch. Okay, so here is our main menu. As you can see, we have our sources here and there's also some options as well. So let's kind of go over this, kind of get a good feel for it. Here we have general, you can select your language, your time zone, select the date and the time, and then reset the factory. So audio, you have your balance and your fader. Here you have your subwoofer, uh, either on or off. Now on the subwoofer level, you can control the here on the bottom and you also have your crossovers that you can pick as well. So on this particular radio, you have up to 160, there's 120, 80 and 50 and then off. So this radio does not have high pass filtering though. Okay, so just make note of that. No high pass filtering on the radio. So if you're running off the radio, you won't be able to cross over your interior speakers. But if you're running an amplifier, then you just use a crossover on the app, not a huge deal. Okay, EQ. You have a 10 band graphic EQ. And on this, you just select the band that you want to adjust and just move it up and down. So it's not like some of the other brands out there where you can scroll your finger across. It doesn't work that way. Uh, and then you also have some presets. You have jazz, hip hop, pop, rock, R&B. Okay, so you have some presets there. You can turn the internal app either on or off. Uh, you have your volume here and also your source level. So this is a nice feature. So here you're able to pick the source that you want and then you can adjust the level accordingly. So let's say for instance, when you're playing the radio, it's at a certain level. And then when you jump into Bluetooth audio, it's maybe not loud enough. Um, so you can just go ahead and turn that up there for you. So you can do that on all your sources. So that is a nice feature. Okay, so let's move on to display. So here's what we've noticed with this radio. It comes defaulted here at 11 on the gamma and four on the brightness. So what we like to do here is actually turn the gamma up and that makes the blacks a little deeper and then bring the brightness down a little bit. Not too much though, we don't wanna to go too much here. And that makes the screen look So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do that and that you'll get a nicer screen from that. Cause as a default, it is a little washed out. The blacks aren't quite as deep, but if you just make that simple adjustment on the settings and you're good to go. Okay, so let's move on. Now you can also change the LED light paneling here. Um, you can just turn off the animation and then you can select the color that you want. Okay, green, blue, purple, red. Okay, so whatever you want. And then we have wallpaper. So you got a couple different wallpapers you can choose from as well. Okay, we'll just go ahead and select the blue and then you can select the background brightness as well. Probably for the wallpaper, okay? I don't see a lot uh, happening here when I'm doing this. All right, here's a Bluetooth menu. That's pretty self-explanatory. We'll just move on to camera. So this does have a rear and front camera. So here's how you would select or turning on the cameras on or off and then also selecting the view. You could also adjust the guidelines on here. So on a lot of cameras, they come with the guidelines. If you don't want those guidelines because they're not set at the right position or the position that you would like, normally you're able to cut a wire on the camera and that makes the preset lines go away. And then you can just use the lines on the screen and then you're able to adjust. Okay, so you can just simply touch the spots here. You got four spots you can choose from. Okay, you can bring them in, you can bring them out, you can move them forward, you can move them back. All right, so you guys kind of get the idea here, okay? And then you also have a rear view delay. I don't know why you would want a delay, less delay better, so I would, I would suggest just to leave that at zero seconds. Okay, so let's go back to the home. All right, now this is nice. You do have the EQ that's just right at your fingertips, so if you want to adjust the sound, just go ahead and hit that, and that takes you directly to the EQ. 
Well, let's just take a quick peek at Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. All right, so let's take a look at Android Auto. Okay, so here's the main screen. You have your sources here. You can just scroll this way. All right, I'm not gonna go over this in detail, but there's our mapping there. And then of course you can do our music apps and text messages and telephone. But the screen in the Android Auto definitely looks really good. Okay, onto Apple CarPlay. All right, there's our menu. Actually looks really nice. Nice and sharp, there's a Waze there. You can do Apple Maps, Google Maps. Of course, all your music, text messaging as well. The screen looks great. It's nice and bright and pretty sharp. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the video input on this. I'm using an HDMI to composite adapter and then I'm going composite into the radio. So the picture is okay. It's not the greatest in the world. Because you're using the converter, you definitely lose a lot of quality because of that. I mean, it's washable, but of course you don't have an HDMI input, so it's definitely not as clean. But if you did want to stream with this radio, you can do it this way. Okay, pros and cons, starting with the pros. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Five volt pre-outs, audio video inputs, both front and rear camera inputs, a dual USB, backup camera included, a three year warranty, and of course, the price. All right, now the cons. So the picture quality is mediocre, but if you adjust some of the screen settings, it makes it much better. Lower build quality on the chassis, and it does stick out a little further than some of the other floating panel radios. But legitimately, it's tough to complain about with everything it does come with, especially for the price. But if you're in the market for a floating panel radio and do not want to break the bank, then this is a great option. Okay, that's going to wrap it up. If you're interested in any of these radios, we'll leave links in the description below, taking you directly to the product page. Also, visit our website at breakerstereoandperformance.com for all your car stereo and accessory needs. Remember, we do have payments available. Simply add what you like to the cart, pick a financing option, and we'll send your gear out to you ASAP. Okay, my name is Josh. I'm with Breaker Stereo and Performance. Thanks for watching.